Hey, hello YouTube and the internet. I am at the cow. So let me just give you a quick room tour of my room. And when you enter through on your left, it's a bathroom. I've got some of my mess. Now that you see, you have a nice big sink, large window, and mirror, not window, but large mirror. For shame, the light is off. Got a toilet. And I love the shower. It's quite large and I love the draining system. So there is doors that could link potentially two rooms. Um, as you can tell, there's a lock. So there's a lock on both sides to make sure that um, no random stranger comes in. A bed, a nice back stand. I got a big TV here with um, a bunch of drawers. Now this is really cool. What I love about the cow is that all of their rooms, in addition to the in-house safe, it comes with a little mini fridge that's not like a mini bar, so you can actually put stuff in it. Little desk area that I have exploded into. I'm gonna clean that up at some point. Um, a nice chair and ottoman area here. A little table. Uh, this is my window view. Now one thing about this window view, got a nice beautiful shot of the walkway from the hotel that leads to Main Street. So you can see the gar Circa, Garage Mahal, as well as the plaza, and then right around the end is the Circa. If you can't tell by the sign, I am staying at now the Plaza Hotel Casino. This is my first time staying here. I'm in one of their deluxe rooms. So this is what the room looks like. Um, I have two beds. In the middle is a nightstand, phone, got some outlets here. Do have a standard alarm clock, which is cool. Has um, two outlets, or yeah, two outlets on the top, as well as a couple USB ports for charging. Now, on the other side of the room here, we do have a nice large TV, some drawers. I was surprised and delighted to find that there is a little mini fridge. And in the mini fridge, there are two little bottles of Plaza water there. That's super cool. And then there's this mysterious door. No, this door isn't that mysterious. Um, it's basically to be able to link the two rooms, one on this side and one on the other side. We have a little desk space, which is super neat and clean for now. Um, a little ice bucket with some cups. An AC unit. The view is really cool in terms of seeing the property. What's nice about this is I'm staying at the South Tower. Uh, so I have, um, it's not close by the experience, but I can see it, which is nice. I can also see the Circa. Um, I also have a view of the pool. On this left-hand side here is the pickleball court. I can see a nice view of the North Tower there with the beautiful artwork on each of its sides. I think that's where all of the Lux rooms are located. And then if I turn to the right, I can see the Circa along with, let's see if I can zoom in a little closer here. And you can see the sign, Stadium Swim. This is my bathroom. There's me, hello. I have a little in-room safe. It's a wall mounted one. I have some hanging areas for uh, my hangables, which might be useful. Uh, ironing board, in case I iron. Nice sink. This is the wash closet. It's, it's a pro and a con. What's nice about this is that um, in the Lux rooms, the bathroom is all in one spot, like a regular hotel. Um, so you don't really have, you know, the ability, if I was hanging out with somebody else, to have one person be able to use the basin to do, you know, wash your hands or whatnot while someone's using the restroom. So this allows both worlds, which is cool. The only problem from what I saw earlier, and I think I saw this on a Hog and Tucson video, is that when you close the door, you'll notice there's not very much knee space. So it's kind of like a weird little, like, you gotta shimmy over to like the right-hand side of the toilet to close the door. And then I got a shower with a bathtub. The new Lux rooms are shower only. So at least this gives a, a bathtub option in case I'm gonna soak. Yeah, so this is my room. Hello. Um, so this is Kendo. I am staying at the plaza again. Last time I was here um, was this past summer of 2021. Now we're in 2022. I wanted to experience what the upgraded Lux rooms are like because it wasn't a deluxe room. 
uh, last time, which is like the standard rooms from before. So I'm in the upgraded room. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little room tour. You have a nice little seating area here with two chairs. But this is my king size bed. This side, I do have a drawer and have a lamp here. Why don't I turn on this lamp so I can see if I can get some more light. Ooh, 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 it's adjustable. I have another table here, another lamp, which I'll turn on, but notice I have a G charging pad. Now, if you're wondering about outlets, there are some outlets on the side of this table. Looks like one is used by the lamp and one is used uh, to charge the G charging pad, I believe. There's one on this side too. That's really nice. Bed's very inviting for pillows, which I'm excited about. Um, I have the little small desk here. Rolly chair, which is quite nice. And again, the floors are like a wood style. And then there's a like nice little uh, rug underneath the bed, which is a nice accent. Got your ice bucket. Got some more outlets. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is awesome. Little coffee maker for some coffee. Room is a lot more lit. Much more bright and inviting. Nice TV. Got some drawers. Oh, it's a mini fridge. Is there space for drinks in there? Yeah. Oh, and there's two bottles of waters. It's a closet with an ironing board and an iron. So the bathroom here, if you notice, I'm gonna maybe zoom out a little bit here. It is like a farmer's door style or a sliding door style, which is really nice. Saves a lot of room. One thing that I didn't like about how the old configuration was set up for the older rooms is that this space was very tight. Um, there was no space between the door that led to the toilet and the shower. Um, so if you were using the toilet, you didn't have anywhere to place your knees comfortably to close the door. So as you can see, the in the roof safe is not hidden at all. It's like right there on the wall, just like the other rooms. It's a beautiful shower and toilet, which means that if I was staying here with somebody else and they had to use the toilet, I would not be able to use the sink, which is one disadvantage, but I'm here by myself. Shower looks really nice. Now, one thing that's interesting is that the shower head is on one side and to access the water, you have it on this side. This is my view. Now, I'm not going to be expecting to see a lot of nice shots. So I have a shot of the Boyd properties, Main Street Station and California. Now, the reason why I think I have this view is because when I was making the reservation, the person who was helping me uh, was asking me if I wanted a noisier room or a quiet room. This is probably like the quietest in terms of the new rooms that I would get. But yeah. That is my room uh, here at the plaza, remodeled. It's really nice looking. I love the, the bathroom seems so spacious compared to um, the regular deluxe room. I love the flooring much better here. It's probably easier to clean for sanitary purposes. All right, I gotta do a bed test, right? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, it is soft. It is like a marshmallow, All right? I'm just gonna end my tour here. Thanks, everybody. Peace.